This beauty is the Sindon light gun. Gives us that arcade light gun experience at home. Also, all that, the home light gun experience on a modern day TV. It's a great piece of kit. Light guns don't really work with, with the modern TVs, but this has solved that problem. And it opens up a whole wealth of games for your Elite V2, and it's really easy to set up. It's mainly plug and play. There's a few little quirks, but let's get into it. Hey players, I'm out in the open today because I need a bit of elbow room because we're looking at the Sinden, how best to set it up, how to get started. It's pretty much plug and play, but there are a couple of things you need to consider when you're setting up your gaming area. Space being one of the most important things, but I'll get to that. Now the first thing you may need to do is update the firmware. I didn't have to update the firmware on mine, mine worked fine just out of the box, but if yours doesn't, then check out the instructions on how to update the firmware. But all you need to do is simply plug it in. Two things will happen. Firstly, it says Sindon light gun detected, which is ideal, and you'll get this white border around the edge. And that's what the Sindon uses to track. Now in my case, the gun shoots pretty true as soon as I plug it in. I don't normally need to calibrate it, but it's a good practice to get into. And again, your setup might be different, so do calibrate it every time you plug it in, recognize white border comes up, and then hold left on the D-pad for five seconds. And there we go. You see the cursor appear in the center of the screen? All you need to do to calibrate is shoot that once. So if, it's out, if you find it's out, you can do that any time you need to, not just when you plug it in. If you find it shooting out, then just calibrate. Getting the right distance between the screen and the gun is key to getting the optimum performance out of the Sindon gun. So in my particular case, that size of screen, the resolution, all those things, everything in the environment here, three meters, I reckon, is about optimum for me. If I go to the full extent of the lead, it starts to lose it a bit, you see. I come in, there you go, it snaps in again. And as I walk closer to the screen, it jumps around and it's juddering and now it's completely uncontrollable. That's about a meter away. So, do some experiment. If you plug it in and you're right on top of the screen, it could be you need to figure out a way of moving further away. If you don't have that space, you can buy fisheye lenses with a muzzle adapter and that will allow you to get a lot closer. But it's gonna depend on the TV, the setup of your room, the resolution, all sorts of things come into play. So the other thing that can affect it is the ambient light in the room. So now I've turned that light on, it doesn't track too well in that corner. But it's using these white borders, you see. So if it's this, this direct, yeah, see, it's a little bit, it's not actually that bad, but it can be. If you've got windows shining a, a reflection on the screen or lights in the room, that can also have an effect. If you've done everything else and you're still having problems, you've done the calibration, you've experimented with the distance from the screen, there are more options available, which will only appear if the Sindon light gun is plugged in. So press the start button and then go to controller and Bluetooth settings and see a new category has appeared with Sindon gun settings. And here you can experiment with the border size. Obviously you're gonna to want to keep the border as thin as possible, but if it doesn't make your gun work, then it's no good. So you can change this to different sizes and just back out. You see, it's got a lot bigger, but even on big, it's not huge. So it's not really a, a big problem to, to have that set up in the biggest size possible. But unfortunate for me, thin works just fine. Border mode, see, so you can toy with these settings. Border color, that might work for you. If you've got light coming on the screen or you've got a white wall behind you or something like that, changing the border color to something as far away from the background color as possible could well do the job. Uh, and just toy with these settings. You've also got recall settings if you're fortunate enough to have a recall version, which I don't. Um, you can turn that on and off and things, but these settings here are going to be tweakable to solve your problems. Another issue you might encounter is with PS2 games. Not, they don't calibrate as you would expect. 
the trigger seems to work, but you can't calibrate it. So you need to press one of the buttons on the Sindon gun instead of the trigger. You need to aim at the center of the screen and find it. There you go, it's calibrated.